Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. You miscreant. I understand. Oh. Get bent. Taxman. 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 Is there somewhere else we could talk about this? Uh, no. <laughs> We're gonna talk about this right here. Okay. It says, uh, file that you only paid part of your taxes for last year. That's right. Looks like only 78%. Yeah. So you did it on purpose? Yep. So you must have been expecting an audit. Um, I was expecting a fine or... A sharp reprimand. A reprimand? This isn't boarding school, Miss Pascal. You stole from the government. No, I didn't steal from the government. I just didn't pay you entirely. Miss Pascal, you can't just not pay your taxes. Yes, I can. You can if you want to get audited. Only if I recognize your right to audit me, Mr. Crook. Miss Pascal, I'm right here auditing you. I now have to go over your past three years of return to make sure that's all you haven't paid. Fine. Actually, you know, it's not fine. Listen, I'm a big supporter of fixing potholes and erecting swing sets and, and building shelters. I am more than happy to pay those taxes. I'm just not such a big fan of the percentage that the government uses for national defense corporate bailouts and campaign discretionary funds. So I didn't pay those taxes. I think actually I sent a letter to that effect with my return. Would it be the letter that begins, dear imperialist swine? Yes. <laughs> Miss Pascal, what you're describing is anarchy. Are you an anarchist? You mean, am I a member? An of... anarchist group, yes. Anarchists have a group? I believe so, sure. They assemble? I, I don't know. Wouldn't that completely defeat the purpose? It was difficult for Harold to imagine Ms. Pascal as a revolutionary. Not now. Her thin arms what? hoisting protest signs. Huh? Her long, shapely Nothing. legs dashing from tear gas. Harold wasn't prone to fantasies. And so he tried his best to remain professional, but of course failed. He couldn't help but imagine Ms. Pascal stroking the side of his face with the soft blade of her finger. He couldn't help but imagine her immersed in a tub, shaving her legs. And he couldn't help but imagine her naked, stretched across his Correct. bed. Mr. Crick. Yes, what is it? You're staring at my tits. Uh, I, was, I don't think I was. I, I don't think I would do that. If I was, I can assure you it was only as a representative of the United States government. Sorry, I'm just uh, I'm having issues today, so I'll be back on, uh, on Tuesday. Harold suddenly found himself beleaguered and exasperated outside the bakery. Shut up! Cursing the heavens in futility. No, I'm not. I'm cursing you, you stupid boy, so shut up and leave me alone! 